Blessed and cold morning brothers and sisters. I am Rafael Charles from Tribes, Qatar. Minsan ba, pag nakatingala tayo sa langit, natanong ba natin kay Lord? Lord, bakit ang tagal na sagot ng panalangin ko? Bakit para bang hindi mo pinakinggan ang panalangin ko? Instead, we ask that question to God. We should ask ourselves why God did not hear my prayer. You know, in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 6, Solomon prayed to God to not punish his people and hear their prayer despite of their sin and wicked ways. And God appeared to Solomon and gave him some reassurances and warnings for his people. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14, and this verse is our devotion today. God says this in this verse, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. The scripture is addressed to the nation of Israel. The Israelites are God's chosen people. He had a covenant relationship with them. Therefore, He directly addressed them as my people. The promise of this scripture is still applicable for us today. Although the promise was specifically directed to the nation of Israel, the principles are applicable to all who call upon the name of the Lord. If we want this promise to apply to ourselves today, and if we want that God would hear our prayers, then we must make sure that we belong to God. We must make sure that we have Jesus in us. And then we can restore or revive our true relationship with God. Now, here are some specific actions we must do before the Lord. The first one, humble ourselves. This is not about bowing and kneeling down before the Lord. It is bringing down of the heart and our spirit. When we think more of our ways than God's way, we are living in arrogant pride. Remember that God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. God does not want us to be proud. He wants us to be humble and recognize that God is in charge of everything. And everything that we have comes from God. The only solution is to humble ourselves. The Bible says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and He will lift you up. And the second one is pray and seek His face. We must put our dependence upon Him and ask God for everything. The phrase, seek my face, speaks of our intimate relationship with God through Jesus Christ. We must aside our vain idols and desire Him more than all. Bible says, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. The third one is turn from our wicked ways. We must truly repent and turn back to God and put our faith to Jesus. We must ask forgiveness and confess our sins to Him. The Bible says He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know, these three actions bring us closer and closer to God's glorious presence. And we can turn to God no matter what our circumstances are. Just believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Have faith in Him because He is the one who presents our prayers to God. Hallelujah. That's all for our devotion today. Shalom.